service announcement. Just because I sleep around and just because I present myself a certain way online does not mean that I don't deserve respect. Women will push you to be like, go queen, go do that. But at the end of the day, you are losing more respect for yourself by listening to a woman telling you to go out and do that thing that they wouldn't even do themselves. You're a feminist doing a that's empowering, yet you're relying on creepy, disgusting men who think you are disgusting and trash to ironically pay your bills, which is probably the most degrading thing in the entire world. Whereas actually, if you were in an office, it would be a lot less degrading. You could actually have respect in an office. The main reason why the patriarchy is so hard to eradicate is that its power is decentralized. They are ridding the patriarchy of its most effective tool. And that renders the patriarchy powerless in its ability to control women. It's giving Bella Thorne releasing her own nudes. I feel like both like a man and a woman, but I also feel like neither and genderless. I have a lot of single girlfriends, okay? And holy hell, like they are so amazing. And like, they're these empowered, beautiful women that are just like, they have so much to offer. Like independent badass woman, like why aren't you wifing them up? I'm so tired of being disappointed by men. I'm so tired of getting hurt. Okay, I'm about to tell you one sign that a man has low emotional intelligence. And five, 10, 15 years later, they're also the ones being like, all men are garbage. You know, I'm just gonna be alone. And I'm like, okay, so maybe that untraditional lifestyle promoting these things did not work out for you. So my boyfriend of eight months, almost a year, and we've known each other for a year now, straight up ghosted me. I had to literally DM his brother to see if he was alive. His snap score is going up. Obviously, I'm checking. Like, the and I know he's like playing poker with his friends, and he like went to a basketball game today. So yeah, I'm honestly at a loss because I literally never would have seen this coming from him. Because women, it's like then they ask you, okay, what do you bring to the table of value? And they list masculine things that men don't care about. No, you need to be like loving, supportive, kind, feminine. There. Feminine's like the number one thing. Yeah, that is definitely. You're supposed to be a woman. Yeah, exactly. Or else you would go have a business partner. I actually dreaded just about every time I opened up my OnlyFans. I just would see all these messages, messages like, are you DTF? Sending like pics. I've never been the type to entertain it and so, the thing is with OnlyFans is that you kind of have to entertain it because they're paying. I can understand how a man would look at me. And why ears. Why do you think that you accept that where other girls will call the man misogynistic? Feelings, they're not using their logic. They're mm -hmm. like, how dare you speak about me like that? And mm -hmm. it's like, you're taking it so personal. I was like, you obviously must feel a specific way about yourself if that's how you're speaking about man, a man being misogynistic because he won't take you up for that. 